Second Vatican Council over and over again reiterates something that long before it was reiterated over and over again from the beginning of the church, that all the Christian faithful are called to holiness. That holiness comes from going out into the vineyard and into the fields that Jesus sends you to, to do the work that he asks you to do. This is called the apostolate. And it's not just a word for priests to use for their work or for the religious to use for their work. It's a word for you to use for your entire life. Because anywhere you go, you are called to that apostolate. Whether it's at your work or at your home, whether it's in school or in the grocery store, you are called to bring Christ to others. But so many times we're overwhelmed by uh, the, the confusion of the noise in life, the busyness of our schedules, and sometimes the spirit of cowardice that can cause us to be quiet about the gospel message for fear of our own reputations being um, hurt in the sight of a secular world or by losing a friendship or from being made fun of by talking about Jesus and the love that he has to give, a love that all of our hearts yearn for, whether they know it or not. This spirit of cowardice is one that will very soon be completely destroyed. And I say very soon because we're leading up to that liturgical feast of Pentecost. It is, of course, a commemoration, and the spirit of cowardice has been utterly destroyed by the resurrected Christ. But what we'll celebrate in a few days is the commemoration of the destruction of that spirit of cowardice. We don't need to be afraid. Remember, the Jews were locked in the room. They were afraid to go out, afraid of the Jews, afraid to speak of the Christ that they knew was resurrected, had risen from the dead, had triumphed over all doubt, had triumphed over sin, had restored humanity to its original holiness with God. But they were afraid and they were in that upper room. But when the Holy Spirit came to them, that spirit of cowardice was wiped out. Peter, the one who was afraid to even say he knew Jesus around the fire in the courtyard, was the first to stand up and to preach Christ crucified to people who didn't want to hear it, to people who had never heard even what had happened. But he knew that he had something that he loved he had something that brought him joy and peace. He had something that ultimately would lead him to heaven. And how could he remain silent? Now, I'm sure Peter still had those um, pangs of fear. That spirit that kept trying to creep back in, even after it had been expelled by the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit did what he promised to do. He won. He triumphed. He overcame that spirit of fear. And Peter courageously stepped out and preached that good news to the conversion of thousands. You're called to do nothing less than that. To go into your places of work. To go into your schools. To go into the grocery store and into the movie theater. Wherever you go. And share with those who do not have the vast riches that you possess within. Do not be confined to a spirit of cowardice, but let the Holy Spirit, whom we will celebrate at Pentecost, fill your heart to burning and to bursting so that the message of Christ resurrected, which we have celebrated for so many days now, might continue in the hearts of all people. God bless and happy Pentecost.